Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share the Taylor series expansion of x over sine x at x equal to 0, or what we call the Macrolin series expansion of x over sine x. So, first, we can split the function into two parts the numerator and the denominator. So, as we can see, the numerator is x, which is considered very simple. So, we can ignore, we don't expand x, but we expand the denominator. We know that for any series expansion, it's always workable for multiplication. So, if let's say we split the function into x times 1 over sine x meaning to say we are going to expand x sine x to the power of negative 1 so if let's say when we differentiate the function will be complicated so we are not going to do this but we will simply just expand sine x so we let the function fx be sine x. So at the point x equal to 0, f0 is equal to sine 0. So sine 0, we obtain 0. Then we have differentiate with respect to x. So differentiate sine, we obtain cos and substitute 0, we obtain cos 0, which is equal to 1. We differentiate again, then we obtain differentiate cos, we obtain negative sine. So we have substitute 0, so sine 0 we know is 0. So 0 times negative, we obtain 0. Then differentiate again, the that time, so we obtain negative differentiate sign, we obtain cos. So substitute again. So cos 0 is equal to 1. 1 times negative, we obtain negative 1. Then we differentiate again. So how many times we have to differentiate, then we have to refer to the question itself. So usually we will differentiate to the degree of higher to the question that expected. So let's say the question asks for to the x to the power of 3 because we are not sure whether when we include x, the power will increase or decrease. So usually we will involve a power that is higher. Or if let's say the question asks for the number of terms, for example, three terms, then as we can see, zero is not considered a successive term, then we have to consider one, two. Then we need another term. So again, differentiate negative, we have negative. So cos differentiate, we obtain negative sign. So negative, negative become positive. So again, this is 0. So we differentiate one more time. Then we obtain already three non-zero terms. So we have cos 0 is equal to 1. Okay, now we can form the that rolling series of sine x. So sine x is equal to, so the first one is 0 over 0 factorial times x to the power of 0 plus, then we have 1 over 1 factorial times x to the power of 1 plus 0. Actually, whenever it's 0, we can actually ignore. So 2 factorial x to the power of 2. We just have to increase the number accordingly together with the power. So plus negative 1 over 3 
then x to the power of 3 then 0 again so 4 factorial x to the power of 4 then we have 1 over 5 factorial x to the power of 5 and so on so we simplify so we obtain x this term is 0 0 0 so we just have 1 2 and 3 non-zero terms here so minus 1 over 3 factorial so 1 over 6 x to the power 3 and plus as we can see this is 5 factorial so for 5 factorial we have 120 so plus 120 x to the power of 5 and so on after we already obtained the Macrolin series of sine x we just have to apply the idea of long division to obtain the Macrolin expansion of this function so we have x on the numerator so meaning to say the one x should be inside then sine x should be outside so meaning say we have x minus 1 over 6 x to the power 3 plus 1 over 120 x to the power 5 and so on so we know that whenever when we apply long division we have to make sure that the first term when we minus is always equal to zero in order to get zero i have to minus x so meaning to say to get x here i need to times one with this x so one one times x i get x so x minus x i get zero so then we continue to multiply so we have one times negative so minus this will be plus zero if we don't have any term behind so one times negative so minus one over six x to the power three and we continue so plus one over 120 x to the power of 5 and so on so for those that without any terms we just have to put 0 if we did not put anything also doesn't matter because 0 means nothing so next 0 minus negative so minus negative become positive so 1 over 6 x to the power of 3 then 0 minus 1 over 120 x to the power of 5 and so on so we continue so as we can see again the same idea we need a 0 here in order for us to get 0 we need plus 1 over 6 x cubed but the first term is x so meaning to say we need to times 1 over 6 however 1 over 6 times x is 1 over 6 x but what we need is x cubed so meaning to say we need x squared so x squared times x we have x cubed then plus times minus so positive negative negative 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 1 over 36 so x squared times x to the power 3 x to the power 5 since the behind term is not important so we just ignore then we obtain so what we have here is negative 1 over 120 minus negative 1 over 36 then we obtain 7 
over 360 so we obtain positive 7 over 360 x to the power of 5 so again what we hope is to get 0 in order to have 0 we must have 7 over 360 here as we can see what we have is x so meaning to say we should have plus 7 over 360 then we should have x to the power 4 so we already done it here meaning to say the McRowland series of x over sine x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 6 x squared plus 7 over 360 x to the power of 4 and so on then we done okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you